In many respects, modern robots are similar to children. It's wonderful to see them stumble, but we know that if we laugh too hard, they may acquire a complication and grow up to initiate World War III if we laugh too hard. None of humankind's inventions evokes such a bewildering mixture of amazement, appreciation, and fear. We desire robots to make our lives simpler and better, but we cannot fully entrust them. We are creating them in our image, yet we are scared that they may replace us. Robots may even try to read your mind. But how do they do that? In this episode, let's find more. However, this fear poses no hindrance to the thriving industry of robots. Robots are now intelligent and physically capable enough to leave factories and laboratories and walk, roll, and even jump among humans. The machines are now present. You may be concerned that a robot may grab your job, which is understandable. Capitalism being what it is, automation is inevitable. But soon, you may be more likely to work with a robot than to be replaced by one. And the news gets even better. You are more likely to befriend a robot than have one murder you. Cheers to the future. The truth, however, cannot be ignored. Humans have been replaced by robots for years, and this trend will accelerate over the next decade. However, this does not imply that humans will become irrelevant in the corporate sector. Both of these qualities are essential, but at the moment we focus too much on machines and not enough on people. Two out of three customers place a high value on the human connection. Nobody considers this human element unimportant. Even if the online technologies are flawless, 73% of customers still prefer human interaction with the companies they deal with. According to a study conducted by Subin Seo of Washington State University, people feel more satisfied conversing with female robots than male robots in hotel service professions. The study, which polled over 170 individuals regarding hypothetical service robots' circumstances, also revealed that the preference increased when the robots were described as having more human characteristics. A study published online in the International Journal of Hospitality Management describes the findings fully. CEO, an assistant professor of hotel management at WSU's Carson Business College in Everett, stated, People usually feel more comfortable being looked for by females due to existing gender stereotypes around service duties. This gender bias appears to extend to interactions with robots, and it is increased when robots are more human-like. Before the pandemic, the hotel sector battled with high employee turnover and CEO highlighted that some hotels have turned to robotics and automation for several tasks, including dishwashing, room cleansing, and consumer service tasks like welcoming visitors and delivering their luggage. You might think, why most humans, like robots, are female? From Nadine to Sophia, the majority of humanoids are female. The female sexualization of AI objects contributes to humanizing them since women are viewed as more empathetic than males and more prone to experience emotions. Warmth and experience, but not skill, are essential human characteristics, yet machines lack them. Now robots can even read your mind. Creepy, right? Roboticists have created a new technique that can build an image of your brain using an fMRI scanner. The robot is supposed to generate a picture of your brain and compare it to images obtained from other participants. Sophia, a realistic robot, has been guaranteed Saudi citizenship. This has generated much disagreement since the public asks whether or not robots need to have rights. The primary goal of artificial intelligence is to provide people with machines that think more quickly and efficiently. While the robot transformation is not eliminating all employment, automation is, particularly in the industrial industry, and it simply makes work unique. Workers may be forced to accept lower wages because of the use of machines in middle-skilled positions. Even if they aren't actually losing their jobs, the U.S. Marine Corps examined the viability of a four-legged robotic dog for warfare by testing it. The field of robotics is ever-evolving. The U.S. Marine Corps examined the viability of a four-legged robotic dog for warfare by testing it. The spot prototype was created by Google X's Boston Dynamics. Many military organizations have used drones for years. The Russian military, on the other hand, is actively testing Nerekta, it is a UGV, unmanned ground vehicle, with tank treads for navigating rugged terrain. In addition, the UGV is equipped with machine guns, a grenade launcher, and coordinated anti-tank missiles. The ultimate goal is to develop an autonomous car using artificial intelligence. The TTHR-3 is a humanoid robot launched by Toyota in 2017 that mimics the actions of its human operator. 
much like a real-life avatar. The tea settings HR3s, have been modified for the Tokyo Olympics, and they can move more naturally. In the future, as a mobility service, these humanoids will be able to perform surgery while their operators, human surgeons, control them from another part of the globe. It can also let carers work remotely and aid individuals who require support to live more independently. It is commonly stated that a humanoid robot is advantageous because it can use the same equipment and operate in the same environment as a human. But humans also find it easier to operate humanoid robots. In January, it was reported that Ford became the first client to implement a digit from Agility Robotics in a production scenario. The headless humanoid possesses agile limbs and an abundance of sensors. It can traverse stairs, numerous barriers, and many terrain types. It can balance on one foot but often walks erect and is powerful enough to lift up and stack 40-pound crates. Additionally, it may be folded for convenient storage. Ford hopes that Digit will deliver items to clients in an autonomous vehicle, automating the entire delivery procedure. The corporation will initially test how humans react to encountering this android. Although AI has recently been described as machine learning systems due to revolutionary advancements, there is more to these mechanical marvels than meets the eye. Artificial intelligence is being augmented with personality and emotion by artificial general intelligence (AGI). These developments allow for more natural human contact and the potential to cultivate motivation for innovative problem solving. Autonomous robots are designed to acquire knowledge and operate autonomously for lengthy periods of time. AGI now increases these capabilities by imbuing them with human-like common sense, enabling robots to engage in problem-solving tasks with greater intelligence. The future of automation and robotics is to make life easier for future generations, according to Dr. Hossein Rahemi, chairman of the Engineering and Technology Department at Wan College. Robots can make life more enjoyable by removing stress from the job and alleviating some of the demands faced by workers. One college's mechatronics, electrical, and mechanical engineering programs give a solid basis for students seeking employment in the industry of robotics. Hands-on experience is essential for acquiring the requisite skills, Rahimi stated. Our World Championship Robotics team is an excellent illustration of how engineering students collaborate to successfully use their expertise. As the technology underlying autonomous robots continues to advance, the requirement for engineers to operate them also increases, Rahimi stated. As professors, we never stop learning. This ongoing flow of information is transmitted to our students, providing them with the edge they require to remain competitive in their sector. Diverse sectors view autonomous robots as valuable assets for their operations. This does not imply that robots will soon take over the workforce. In reality, they can aid in making human employees' jobs more accessible and more streamlined, thus enhancing the efficiency of enterprises. Even if robots are developed and designed to assist people with a task, human intelligence is still required to make everything happen. How do you think robots are going to affect our common lives? And as we said earlier, do you fear them or do you think they are good? Let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching till the end.